So before this video starts, I kind of want to say my last video that I made, I'm so sorry there something went wrong with the audio when uploading it to YouTube. I actually don't understand. This isn't the first time that it's happened to me. I've had to delete videos and try and repost them and everything again because of the audio fucking up that the gameplay would actually play instead of the commentary or both of them would play together and i the software that i'm using lightworks it let me delete all the audio from the game and put in my own one and it worked perfectly and everything but then once i uploaded it it was all fucked up and everything and i don't understand why so that's kind of just a little kind of not update but a thing that i just want to say before this video starts what is up my original bacons and welcome to some Call of Duty gameplay. So today I want to talk to you about competitive Call of Duty in the next Call Call of Duty coming out. So we all know that the next Call of Duty game in the franchise is going to be Call of Duty World War 2. Of course it might not be called World War 2 but still. So everyone knows that going back to World War 2 and boots on the ground is the one thing when I heard this anyway is how will the competitive side work like look at infinite warfare how fast and fluid the game is like the game is very fast and very very good at kind of like working putting things together like the the wall running works perfectly and it's smooth and everything like that and like going back to world war 2 the gameplay would be slower and on the ground and I think to fix this they need to go back to maps that are like go to maps that are smaller and probably have close quarter lanes they have to have the game has to have four lanes because come on the games that have had four game lanes have done really really good towards the games that didn't like ghosts ghosts is kind of the one that comes to mind there could be more like there could be way more have more than four lanes and it's just so annoying next thing then i thought when i kind of kind of thought about it after a good while was nade spots so everyone knows that well basically people that play s and d need to have these kind of little nade spots to either check the bomb or see if an area is free or maybe even try to get a free kill instantly if people don't know that you can throw a nade over there and just instantly boop, boop, blows up in their face so we need to have nade spots on where you can nade bombs and that that's kind of easy to be honest to be honest to do that it's just it's extremely easy to do that the guns will be old and not as good looking or as good as the guns in the last few previous titles for example you'll have the m1 garand I think that's what it's called the Mosin the M1911 the BAR type 99 and type 38 just for example to be honest I think they're I think that's what they're called anyway like some of the guns how are you meant to actually lock down a position like let's look at Harpoint there's no fully automatic fully automatic assault rifles in World War 2 there isn't even assault rifles to be honest in world war 2 so you're the, if you're the AR player just say and you're the anchor of the team like how are you meant to hold down a position for anchoring for the next hard point with an m1 garand yeah fair enough it could probably be a really good gun and be kind of op but still like it'll be so hard to be shooting that gun when it's semi-automatic i know they had the fall in black ops 2 which was absolutely amazing but will you still have a gun that's that good that's going to be as good as the fall then could they take the fall and make it into the m1 garand and make the m1 garand shoot faster and better they could do that but then they'd probably have to nerf it after a few months maybe even a few weeks into the game maybe um <clears throat> But still, like, it'll be hard to say which guns are going to be good. 
and are they going to make up guns as well to put into the game because we have assault rifles in near enough every other game to lock down positions and sniping is going to be like it was in world at war or cod 4 for the competitive side now i just find that the next call of duty if it is well it, it is actually going to be world at war world war 2 sorry is going to be bad for the competitive side of Call of Duty, which has been growing each year since Black Ops 2. Like the last tournament that was held had over 80 to 85k views combined on the MLG Enhance Viewers, Enhance Viewer thing. I don't know what it's called, but the MLG.tv and on Twitch.tv, I think they had 8,000 and on the mlg.tv i think they might have had eighty thousand to 89 not actually sure they could even have they could have even had ninety thousand watching and maybe even more at times like that then think that sledgehammer is only concerned about the kids asking for it to go back to boots on the ground but forget what to add what the pros want oh okay the pros do want to go back to boots on the ground cod but how will they be able to play it if it goes back to world war 2 like i find it stupid that it's going back this far and feel that i would just be just want to go back to the modern warfare time then that would be good enough at least then you'd have assault rifles and be able to actually anchor might even have a hard point in the next call Dewey. You might not which i think will harm the game because it's basically such a good game mode if it's not in the game so in summary basically i think the next call of duty will harm the competitive side of call of duty because the games will be slower people don't want to watch slow games uh, guns will be bad and all in all this will be bad for both competitive fans and just call of duty fans because the majority of the cod community won't even know what it's like to play the old cards and will really really get pissed off at the game because most of them have come from advanced warfare to now and i just kind of want to say that i'm just gonna say it right here and now i personally so far now this is just so far until we get the trailer I don't think the next Call of Duty will be good. I think the next Call of Duty could be its downfall. Yes, it's going back to boots on the ground. Yes, it's going back in time. But will that harm it? Because people... It's hard to explain, but I just feel like that it's not going to be a good game because people are used to fast games. And like if you look at World at War, that's such a slow game for online and everything. And the guns and everything in it are just fairly bad as well. And I just find that the game won't be good and won't be fun to play. Like if they went back to the Modern Warfare age. Like COD 4. Kind of that to uh, 2017 now. It would be a perfect setting. Like they're, they're only going back to World War 2. Because Battlefield have Battlefield 1 which is in World War 1. I... Oh, I hit you. I'm I'm so sorry. I hit my microphone. I'm so sorry. It's like I'm beating a bitch. I'm sorry. But yeah, that is kind of just my opinion. I don't think it's going to be a good Call of Duty. That's just for now until I see the trailer, the proper trailer that should be released in the coming weeks. And I'll give my opinion on it. And then I will give my opinion on whether the game is going to be good or bad. So that is it, guys. I hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. And... Peace, peace, peace.